You look exotic. We are submissive, docile, compliant, accommodating, sweet in the kitchen, tiger in the bedroom kind of woman. We're exoticized, our identities otherized and depersonalized, but we have our own autonomy. These narratives are woven together through the assumptions, perceptions and representations of Asian women. Drawing upon tart cards which are objects of glaring intersections of race, gender, colonialism and sexual discrimination. Through deconstructing and reconstructing our conversation and what's unsaid, we have the possibility to interrupt and redesign our narratives. We can begin by unsaying what's been said. Through engaging in workshops, drawing out stories, starting conversations and observing images that reveal the way stereotyping and racism has become normalised behaviour both in the visual culture we see but also during everyday public encounters. We can begin by unsaying what's been said through creating collages, cutting, sticking, making, remaking, hiding, revealing, deconstructing, reconstructing, rewriting, reframing, unpacking, reversing and flipping. We as Asian women can redesign our self-description and regenerate ourselves personally and collectively. We decide whether we are exotic. We are not purchasable. We are not shy or submissive. We are more than just our stereotype. We can choose to take responsibility and actively participate in the creation of our image. Hi, my name is Gaia Moon. My design project hopes to expose and explore the objectification and fetishization of Asian women. I am hoping to bring further awareness and encourage discussion about the male gaze and the cultural, racialized, and gendered sexual stereotypes we have come to accept. In my project, I confront the visual culture surrounding Asian women through interaction, deconstruction, and the redesigning of our narratives. I believe that knowing and understanding where these things come from gives us a sense of power and agency. I want to unpack the language and images that are bound up in the perceptions and stereotypes of Asian women. I decided that tart cards would become my site of controversy because this is where attitudes towards women are represented. The cards are problematic and converge at this weird and stereotypical sexualized place in a raw and blatant form. I'm intrigued by the tart card's ability to perpetrate the stereotypes of Asian women in a rather explicit way. It becomes an opportunity to talk about representation and self-representation of bodies and descriptions. This social design project is about reclaiming the voice of Asian women through a lens of empowerment, solidarity and agency. From my personal experience, this means allowing me to contribute to a discussion of how Asian women want to be described and begin by flipping the narrative. I aim to host monthly workshops where women of Asian heritage can connect. The workshops include facilitated informal discussions as well as a making session. They're invited to deconstruct and reconstruct the tart card based on their personal experiences and stories, allowing for active participation and self-reflection. I hope it will give women an opportunity to unravel historical impositions and give them agency to talk about their sexuality, ask questions and find empowerment through learning and personal discourse. These stories with permission and anonymity will be collected and published in a quarterly zine and publication, alongside of images of the tart cards. This publication will also invite others to contribute. Topics from each workshop can vary from dating and relationships, cinematic representation, sexualized images and work and labour. Over time I'll be interested in seeing how conversations progress as I work to create a space for storytelling, social action and creative projects that ultimately empower women with a voice and agency, enabling them to deconstruct and redesign the visual culture and narrative of Asian women. At the moment my outcome is still being shaped by my research and is constantly evolving as more interactions with others take place. What I've realised through my research is there are so many women out there from so many different communities who are in infinite ways sexualised. I've realised how important it is to investigate this topic, giving myself and others the knowledge and understanding that these things don't just happen to me. The ideas, the perceptions of who we are, the sentences, the words, the attitudes are all coming from somewhere. Knowing where that's coming from and creating a process where people can begin to unpack, share and understand and learn is empowering. I want to create a change, a real change, and create a place for people to have these discussions. This process has allowed me to understand and empower myself, and ultimately I want to do the same for others.